Hello, my name is Cheryl Recker. I'm a senior research and lab technician for the University of Missouri. And I'm standing here at the Horticulture and Agroforestry Research Center in New Franklin, Missouri, in front of the Watermelon Research Project. I'm a co-PI on this research project and it's called Expanding Watermelon Production and Market in Missouri. Funding for this grant comes through the Missouri Department of Agriculture from the USDA's Specialty Crop Block Grant Program, which is to strengthen the market for Missouri-grown specialty crop. The first objective is to see if we can get an early enough watermelon production to hit the 4th of July market. We have chosen a variety that takes a shorter amount of time to grow to full maturity, and that variety is Yellow Doll. It is a seeded watermelon, and it has a 68 to 70 day maturation. For the first objective, we are using covered rows. We have high tunnels, which our high tunnel style is known as the caterpillar tunnel. It's hoops that are actually top rails of a chain link fence, which are bent into the shape, and then they're covered with a plastic greenhouse film. The low tunnels, which are wire hoops, are covered with a thick row cover. The caterpillar tunnels are left up through harvest while the row covers are removed when the female flowers begin appearing. And that's so that the pollinators can get into the flowers to pollinate them. Whereas the sides on the caterpillar tunnels are opened up, which allows ventilation and also allows the pollinators to get inside. We have a control and it does not have any cover on it. And these three treatments then are replicated four times. Ramon will now give you an update on the covered treatments. I'm Ramon Arancibia, MBU Extension. I'm the horticulture specialist for the West Central region. So here we are to show the uh, differences in growth in this trial on the early production of watermelon to hit the 4th of July market. And you can see here, this is our control with no cover. And I have to mention that these plants were planted right after the freeze last month, about uh, April 23rd. And this is what they have grown with no cover, just the plastic mulch. But just in this shot here, you can see the difference in growth between the control with no cover and the high tunnel. Those high tunnels are already setting uh, fruits. They have female flowers that have been set. There's already been a look into uh, availability of bees, so we know they've been pollinated already. Yeah, This one here, they don't show flowers yet, so we are way ahead under the high tunnels. Yeah? And we're going to get closer to see the other ones over there too. Another thing that is important to understand is the larger the plant at the time most fruit set is going to be able to set more fruit. And with that, we're going to move closer. So here, and this is the control, and I want to, this is one of the largest plants. And although it has some flowers, these flowers are male flowers. Mainly, if you see the back of the flower, there is not a little fruit there as we're going to show you inside the high tunnels that the male, the female flower has a little fruit in the back of the flower. So these plants have not produced female flowers yet. That means they have quite a bit of, uh, quite a while still just to set fruit. So here we are inside the high tunnels and you can see the difference in, in the large, how much they have grown the plants of watermelon. And here I'm showing a female flower that is already open, ready to be pollinized. And you can see that it's female because of the back of the flower, it has a small fruit in there. So this is what we expect at this time. There, there are already several of these female flowers ready to be pollinated. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hope if there are those pollinated right now, we are expecting to get the fruit by the 4th of July. 
All right, and here we have the plot that had the low tunnels and it has already been removed. One of the things that we you, we want to show when you have low tunnels, you better have a weed control system, whether herbicide or a cultivation, whatever you decide to do. But because you see that not only the plants grow faster under the low tunnels, but the weeds also grow faster. So you 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 want to have a weed control method to avoid this competition. But in any case, the plants are larger than the ones that were not covered, uh, the control that we showed before. Uh, though these plants are larger, they still have not uh, produced female flowers. So they're gonna start to produce female flowers soon. And the fact that they're larger, we expect them to set more fruits than the control. Yeah, uh, we hope that this one could uh, set fruit soon so they can hit the 4th of July. We'll see, and if depending on how uh, late from the 4th of July, we can determine a way to plant earlier and protect them from a possible freeze. We would like to take this opportunity to thank the Missouri Department of Agriculture and the USDA for this grant.